Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to create a box plot. Um, some textbooks call it a box and whisker plot um, in the TI-84 graphing calculator. Um, what we have here are the starting salaries of 10 new hires in thousands of dollars, so this would represent 38,000, um, 42,000, 51,000, etc. Um, to use the graphing calculator, it does not matter if your data is in order. This one happens to be in order. Um, if you are doing hand calculations, it's easiest to have it in order. So what we're going to do is, again, we are going to put the information into our spreadsheet screen. So to do that, we're going to hit Stat and then Edit. I have information in here, so I'm just going to clear all of this information out. And then we're just going to quickly put all of this information into our calculator. So 38, 39, 41, 41. Okay, and we want to make sure that all 10 points are in and that all of them are correct because if you put them in incorrectly, obviously it's going to give you the wrong graph. And then what we're going to do is I always check my Y equals screen just to make sure that I don't have anything in here first and I don't, so I'm not going to clear anything out. If I did, I would go ahead and clear it out at that time because sometimes if I get errors, that's where I get them from. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit second and the Y equals button. Above it, it says stat plot. Um, this is where you can do all your graphs in your calculator. And I'm going to just choose option one. I'm going to make sure plots two and three are off. Um, there are two types of um, box plots or box and whisker plots that you can do. So I'm going to turn plot one on. In this one, I'm going to do the one that tells me if there are outliers. So if there's any outliers um, that were calculated, it will show me the outliers. Um, so I'm going to have this one as blue. You can choose which one you want to do. Some um, publishing companies prefer to have the outliers um, separate as separate points. Some of them just have the whiskers go all the way out to the outliers. So it's kind of, I just want to show you that both of them can be done in here. Uh, so you decide which one that you're going to use. Like I said, I'm going to do both of them just so that you can see the difference of the two. Um, so I just went up to plot two. And then I'm going to turn this one on and I'm going to do this one in a different color so that you can see the difference between the two of them. So I'm going to do this one in red. And then I'm going to go over and this one I'm going to select the one that does not show the outliers. It just is a continuous whisker. Um, when I hit graph, a lot of the times I'm not going to be able to see anything because my window is set to something else. So um, what I want to do is hit the zoom button and nine and it will automatically format it so that my box plots show up. So if you notice with this one, this one shows us that we do have an outlier where the second one shows us that there, it looks like there might be points in between. So for me, I personally like the blue one. Um, this is the one that I'm gonna put down onto paper over here. So if you're transferring this over to paper, the first thing that you wanna do is create a scale a scale that encompasses the entire span of your data values. So I'm just going to go by 2 starting with 38. And we want to make sure that we include both our lowest and our highest. So 38 to 52 contains all of our points. And then you always want to include um, scales down at the bottom. So this would be starting salaries. And then we can use our calculator to help us find the points. So like I said, I'm going to plot the top one. If we hit the trace button, if you notice something comes up and it tells us the median, it's flashing on the blue um, graph, what I can do is I can go over and I can find what those values are. So the minimum was at 38. So I can go ahead and put the dot at 38. Um, and then I can arrow over to the next point. It says that Q1 is at 41, so that's the first quartile is at 41. So I could put a dot at 41, and then I'm going to enclose that in a box. And if I go to the next point, it's 42. So our median would be 42. 
Our Q3 is 44, so again, we would put a point here and our box would go here. And so remember, if you remember what the quartiles are, um, this is our minimum quartile one. That means that 25% of our data points fall between 38 and 41,000. 25% fall between um, 41 and 42,000. And then approximately 25% fall between 42 and 44. And then we have one outlier over here at 51. And the outlier can either be denoted with an asterisk or an open circle. That's kind of just up to you. Um, a lot of times, I'm going to do an open circle because a lot of time an asterisk is used if it's an extreme outlier, if it's more than three standard or three IQRs above the mean. Um, but it just shows you that there is nobody in between 44,000 and 51,000, so the 51,000 is an outlier. Um, like I said, you can also do it this way. This is another accepted method of the box and whisker plot. So it's really just a matter of preference. Like I said, I prefer the ones with outliers so we can see that the points don't fit in. So if you're looking at this, even though there is a range from 38,000 to 51,000, majority of your information, 50% of your information is going to be in between the 41 to 44,000 uh, range. As always, thanks for watching.